my stutter has definitely had an impact on my mental health. I've had a sick daughter ever since I was a kid. Caitlin was in denial about her stutter. She didn't want to be different. She didn't want people to look at her and stand out. Beginning in about sixth grade, people began to bully me, come my stutter, trying to be funny but it wasn't funny to me and it made me feel very bad about myself. Having a stutter causes immense anxiety. The more you stutter, the more stressed out you are. The more stressed out you are, the worse you stutter. Because of the bullying, I refused to talk in class or raise my hand. As a mom, it was just devastating. I. I didn't feel enough, I didn't feel normal. How do you say that to a kid who has to go to school every day and go on the bus every day and be left out of parties and things that they do because you just don't fit in? Sharing my story, it makes me feel like I'm helping others who may have the same situation as me, especially younger kids. Growing up, I never had somebody to look up to who also had a stutter. So I am proud to be that person for people who need it to not feel alone. My senior year of high school, I randomly signed up for a pageant hall with no expectations of getting in. For me, the pageant was a challenge and it helped me not be so afraid of public speaking. I had to introduce myself in front of a audience of about 500 people. And as for somebody who has anxiety, talking to like five people, getting on a stage, it was so like terrifying. It took me so long to say my name, but I survived it. And then when she said it, the whole audience exploded. As people realize, oh my God, this girl just went up and exposed this speech impediment in front of the world. It didn't happen overnight, but I slowly became more confident. I began posting about my debtor on social media. I was overwhelmed with people just showing me that I wasn't alone in this and inspire me to post more to help others. Even in my day-to-day -day life, it's still difficult to be honorable when it comes to my sutter. Having multiple support systems, I feel extremely lucky. When I have a bad day, I talk to my friends and family to help me feel better. I love animals so much because they are not judgmental. Kaylin's love for animals is pure. No matter what was going on, she was sad, they would lick her tears. She was happy, they would wag their tails. That was her comfort. And this is Ollie. He is 10 and he's my cuddle buddy. Um, and he is like a therapy dog to me because he is so sweet and calm and the best thing ever. For anybody who feels different in any way, my advice would be to try to realize that the most judgmental person is yourself. The people who care most about you just want you to be happy. I realized that even though I stutter, I can do anything that I put my mind to. 
I am Caitlin Cowan and I am more than enough. <laughs>